Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel for another video. If you're new here, welcome to the family. Today I am going to unbox and review this electronic keyboard that I have gotten, that I've gotten, that I bought from Five Below. Yes, I bought it. This is not a sponsored review at all. I just bought it because I thought it was cute. And it was musical and instrumental ish ish instrumental ish instrumentalist instrumental cool instra awesome keyboard awesome keyboard awesome I can't I don't know anyway so today I wanted to review this I also bought this when I bought the um the five below guitar that I did a review on so I'll add that up in the cards so you can go check that out and you can go watch the video from what I did for that I also did one about five below ukuleles so when I was buying the guitar I decided oh I might as well just buy this because it's five dollars and it is cool so I'm gonna unbox this today and y'all can see what it's like because I'm curious too if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos and you too can join the music fam woo 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 yes okay anyway to the review it says electronic keyboard so that's what we're going with for the title of this video and when I bought this it said it requires three double A batteries that are not included. But on the back, well at the back, it's like this part right here, it shows that I need AAA batteries. So I was like, if I blow, what am I supposed to buy? Because I have no idea. So I got some AA batteries I bought from the Dollar Tree. They were 10 for a dollar. Whether or not they work, I don't know. And then I got these Duracell ones on clearance somewhere for a dollar at like Kroger or something. And you get uh, for a triple A because I live on a budget yo. So let's just open this. Let's let's see what it looks like. It says ages six plus. So if you are six or older, you are allowed to use this. It says it includes eight sound effect modes and eight rhythm modes. So it might get kind of wild today, guys. You can record on here. I didn't know that. All right, so let's just get right into it. Are you guys ready for this? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Let's see, it needs like some theme music when I open this box. Let's see. Uh... that song pops into my head but it did so I'm going with it all right here it is it is super cute and fancy right it's fun I need a screwdriver I didn't plan on this very well wait I'll be right back I forgot to get a screwdriver because I'm a dork and I didn't read the instructions actually I don't know if it didn't say I need a screwdriver it doesn't technically say I need a screwdriver but I don't know what else I can do to unscrew it so I'll be right back okay I am back and I have an array of screwdriver and screwdriver screwdriver and screwdriver like things. I hope one of these works. Oh yeah, here we go. It's gonna take me like five hours to unscrew this. Not because it's hard, because I'm uncoordinated and I don't want to warp the screw by like doing it wrong. Is it done yet? Oh my gosh, it's not done yet. Okay, got it. Got the little itty bitty screw. Okay, let's see what kind I need. Dun 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 dun. I need. Double A. That's good. I got those. I got my double A batteries. Oh! oh! That scared me. Okay, I'm not going to screw this back in. One, because I don't feel like it. Number two, I don't want to take the time to do it. I recommend that if you're actually going to use this and like take it places, I recommend you do put this little itty bitty little screw back in. But for the purposes of this tutorial, because I'm not like leaving my house, I'm not leaving this area. That's fun. All right, so it works, number one. Let's just start pressing the buttons and see what happens. I'm pressing drum one. Wait, it doesn't actually drum though. Okay, so it doesn't change the keys. Like on my like actual keyboard, like the legitimate keyboard, not this little munchkin thing right here, it will change this keyboard, like the actual keyboard itself will change two drum sounds. With this, you just have to use the pad right here. So we have drum one, drum two, drum three. Well, that's kind of fun. You can be rock stars rock now. And then we've got rhythm one. Okay, rhythm two. Wait. How do I stop? Okay, there's a stop button on the other side. So for your peace of sanity in mind, wait, peace of mind and for your sanity. If you need to like 
press stop, it works. Okay, but it shows on mine, it says rhythm one right here. It says rhythm one, the next one's rhythm one, the next one's rhythm one. Wait, where's my box? I threw it somewhere. On here it says there's rhythm sound one, rhythm sound two, rhythm sound three. So apparently when they were printing this, they just made them all number one. I don't know if they all sound the same. Let's see. There's the first one, this is the second one. Okay, so it is different. This is the third one. are all different but on mine for whatever reason it just says rhythm one rhythm one rhythm one so that's fun and on the box it shows rhythm one rhythm one rhythm one guys five below peeps minor detail but really then we've got volume down volume up it does make it quieter there you go then you can make it louder even louder even louder. How loud can it go? And that's as loud as this gets. Let's see how quiet it gets. Oh, that's good. It, you can hear it tells you how loud it can get. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think there's seven volume changes. And then there's a xylophone sound. Oh, that's weird. That's cool. flute sound. Oh my gosh. That's way too loud. Wait, we're going down in volume. So it sustains the pitch a little bit longer for the flute. So all the fun of using a pedal, kind of. The kind of like using a sustain pedal, but you're not because like frankly there's no pedal connected. But it does keep the sound prolonged just a little bit on the flute sound. So that's nice. Let's do the mandolin sound. There you go. You can play that on mandolin. Let's go back to auto. Oh my gosh, I don't like that. Right, I don't like this sound as much, this auto sound. Don't like it. I think I like the mandolin sound the best. Even though it pretty much sounds the same. Let's see, we'll play C. Whoa, wait. Yeah. I am playing the C note the whole time. Why is this changing? No. I can't, how, what? Let's see with this music button. I'm clicking the music button right here. about that song. Anyway, next, moving on. So apparently you can record. So let's try recording this. Now let's replay what we just did. Oh wait, so it does record it. That's good. Let's stop it now. We don't want to hear that again. Let's record something again. This is fun. Let's see. Whoa, wait, what, wait, what? I'm just doing five keys, but they're not lining up and the octaves. Why are these in the same octave, guys? These are not, they're supposed to be different octaves. That's what a piano is for. So you have different octaves. Look, I'm doing, I'm doing two different C's, this C and this C, which now they sound different. They're an octave apart, which is correct. When you play them separate, they do what they're supposed to be together. They don't. So apparently you can play one note at a time on this thing. That's what I'm learning with my little experiment here. You can play one note at a time and it'll work for you. So you can only play one note at a time. The second time you add two notes, it freaks out. It can't play more than two notes at once. So if you like doing harmony on keyboard, you're screwed, which is pretty much everybody because keyboard is meant to be like played like you can do whatever you want with it all at the same time. So you can only play one note. Like, I love dissonance. I can't even do dissonance between two notes. Like, break my heart. Five below. Break my heart. Yeah, I think that's about it. So in conclusion, this keyboard, it works. It's five dollars. If you're only gonna play melody lines with it and just do like one thing. 
then you're fine. But if you want to do like cool dissonance things, then you're screwed. You can't do it. Um, so all in all, technically it works. Technically it plays. Technically it takes the batteries you put in and it doesn't sound completely crappy. Bad news is if you want to buy a real keyboard, like go get one. Just go buy a real keyboard. It doesn't even have to be like super huge. It can be a little bit bigger than this. I actually have a keyboard, fun fact. I have a keyboard that I have in my room right now because it's smaller and it fits. It's probably like about this big. I've filmed it in some videos I've done here. Maybe it's a little bigger, I don't know. But I actually got it at a garage sale, like super cheap. So you could even get keyboards that way at a garage sale. You can find them used online. So you don't have to spend a lot of money. So if you're someone who lives on a budget like me or like you guys and you wanna buy a cool, instrument you can totally do that like online i've bought them used online you can buy them new like super cheap by clearance or on sale or whatever but i would recommend if you really want to play keyboard you go out and just buy a keyboard because for the five dollars i guess it does what it does for five dollars so there's that um it does look cool i'll give it that it does look cool anyway that's it hopefully i will see you all in my next video and have a good rest of your day bye how am I gonna close this out? Because normally I like do this with it and it's not gonna work. All right, have a good rest of your day. See you later, bye.